Hey everybody, this is the Brick Separatist here, and uh, today I just wanted to give you guys a nice look at my droid army that I've been building. I've been working on this for a couple of months now, and it's really coming along great. Um, so I'm just going to go in depth and show you all each vehicle, kind of go over the figures and explain all of what's here, and we'll uh, go from there. So starting us off, I'm going to look at the uh, kind of leaders that I have here for the Separatists. Of course, we got General Grievous. Um, we got a couple of customs. We got Shu Mei and a Gossam Commando from the Commerce Guild. We also have that classic General Grievous there. We got some Assassin Droids. We got Nuke Gunray. Custom Brick Belt Aqua Droid there too, which is pretty cool. Now, moving down, we've got all the B1 Battle Droids. We've got my custom Sig Fig, Captain Roger, I like to call him. We've got the Sand Red Geonosis Battle Droid. Uh, got some Super Battle Droids on this side. Kind of all kinds of stuff going here. Uh, there's so many B1s, like just unreal amount. I've been very fortunate to get them all so cheap. Also got some custom Kashyyyk droids in here too. We got a Super Battle Droid squad up here. Different B1s. We got the Tan B1s. We got the Kashyyyk Green B1s. Now we got Geonosis droids here. Some commanders. A couple rocket droids. Gunners. Pilots. Then we've got the green camouflage Kashyyyk droids in the back here. I'll show you these. These are really cool. They're uh, custom. They're not official Lego, but they're really well made. They're sturdy. So now we've got a speeder bike from the uh, Geonosis set with Count Dooku and Yoda. We've got a couple of Geonosis turrets. We've got a tri-fighter. We've got a proton cannon here. This is a really rare set. I'm really happy that I have this. My friend gave it to me and I've kind of put it back together. It was from his childhood. We've got an Octopara droid. We've got AAT here. Droid Gunship, which is one of my favorite sets of all time. This set is really hard to find now. For some reason, it just became very rare after it was discontinued. Upwards of $100 now. Um, really quite a cool set. And then we've got this cool blue AAT with an Umbaran holding the Separatist flag up in the top. He's commanding that AAT. And uh, moving on, we've got not one, but two homing spider droids. This is the 2013 model. It's probably the best one they've ever made. Homing Spider Droid's my favorite droid of all time, so I had to have at least two of them. Moving on, we've got the Hailfire Droid that I built myself with no instructions, just kind of my own thing. Uh, then we've got the Separatist Mortar Tank, otherwise known as the Hag-M, from the 2003 Clone Wars video game. This was designed by Thrawn's Revenge. I put my own twist on it with the turret, and there's a few minor differences from his model. One of my favorite vehicles of Star Wars, so really happy to have that in my collection. Um, Dwarf Spider Droid, tons of those. They release those all the time. Droidicas, we've got the Sniper variant in there too. We've got a classic Geonosis fighter coming up right here. This is one of the coolest sets back in the day. This came with a couple of Stand Red Battle Droids and it's the only set they ever came in. And we've also got, before I forget, we've got a blue stack here. That thing is pretty cool. Built that myself. Yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the uh, kind of overview of the whole thing. That pretty much wraps us up. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Bye.